What is going on, my fellow addicts? This is Professor O from Chart Addicts. I hope everyone is doing well. Before we go ahead and dive into our technical analysis, just want to let you guys know we have a lot of exciting things coming out. So we appreciate everyone for your patience. And again, please bear with us. We will have a call this weekend, you know, uh, launching and, you know, uh, releasing uh, what we have in store. So thank you guys again. So uh, other than that, let's just go ahead and, uh, you know, just keep this call short, sweet, just go over some, you know, technical analysis and uh, look at some pairs that we're looking to execute on. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and share the screen. We're just going to get straight to it. I um, want to start off with CAD CHF. All right, I know we did buy this trade, I believe, uh, yesterday. We were in profits, I believe, 30, 35 pips. We moved our stop loss to... Uh, break even and price ended up coming back to hit it. Okay, so I am still keeping my eyes on this setup. All right, just simply by zooming in on the four hour, I can see it is currently testing this previous bottom. Okay, we did break this channel, so we did take the trade off uh, the break of this uh, this channel. All right, and and then we uh, had some follow through with this engulfing candlestick. Okay, so we were looking for some continuation. Though price did come back down, uh, hit us, hit our break even, and now it is testing this previous low. All right, so this is a bounce or break situation. If price is able to maintain above this zone, and hopefully, if we hold off for another daily close just to um, confirm this setup. Okay, uh, we could definitely look to execute. All right. Again, just zooming in onto the one hour, you guys can see price is slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. So again, we have a bounce or break situation. Okay, if it ends up uh, breaking the zone, all right, with a strong impulse or uh, shift in momentum, all right, we can look to sell. All right, but if it ends up snapping back and closing above this yellow area, all right, we can look to place our buys, okay? So CAD CHF going off the uh, pound yin, okay? The reason we took this trade, you guys, all right, simply by looking at our technical analysis, all right, we are on, let's go ahead and go to the four hour. All right, so we had price on, uh, on this downtrend, all right, for quite some time. Even if I extend this trend line, I can get some touches over here. All right, so essentially price ended up having a strong impulse breaking above our previous uh, swing, okay? And it ended up retesting our 129 uh, region, okay? We are looking for buys in this area um, simply by going down to our one hour time frame. We have a potential uh, or an inverted head and shoulder forming, okay? So we have the left shoulder the head and the inverted right shoulder all right so we took the trade uh we had a strong impulse and then a correction so we took our buys right over here okay so we're looking to take our tp back at this well-respected zone okay we have some previous support and we have some confluence with our moving average okay so it's the three one uh 131.500 region okay nzd usd all right, we were looking for some buys. All right, if we do get uh, an engulfing candlestick, I'm definitely looking to scale down and uh, execute on some entries. All right, we are back at a level that has uh, a lot of support, a lot of wick rejection. Okay, and reading the candlesticks, all right, we can see that price is slowing down looking at the size of the bodies. All right, it's not as, it's not as strong. It's not as uh, confident or, or convincing, okay? So if we do end up getting an engulfing candlestick after this, these indecision candles, all right, we can look to definitely scale down and, and place some buy entries, okay? USD CAD, simply just going off a higher time frame. All right, we had a strong impulse, 
to the downside and now we are currently retesting I believe the 1.33 uh, thousand is the level and we do have some confluence with our moving average as well okay so though we had a strong daily close I like to see how price reacts in this area all right and if we scale down we do have a, a channel all right if those of you who do want to hold off and who are you know a little bit uh, risk averse and conservative if you guys want to wait for the break of this uh, this trend uh, this channel the trend line all right just to confirm uh, that the cells or bears have taken control of this market okay so again we are back at a well-respected zone and let's see what fib level we are at I believe it's the 61 or 71 oh so we are actually at the 71 awesome so I like to see how price reacts in this this area. Again, if we have some rejection, some candlestick reversal patterns, we're definitely going to look to execute. USD JPY. This was a clean setup from last week, you guys. Again, broke our trend line. All right, we had a strong impulse, flat correction. All right, and again, we had some yen strength and dollar weakness, which uh, drove this imbalance uh, in price even further. Okay, so we have we actually took some cells right over here. Price just broke, retested on a smaller time frame, and again, all we did was measure this consolidated zone to uh, predict where our target was going to be. Okay, and it wicked it to the T. So essentially, we can see price uh, consolidate in this zone. Uh, so we're looking to definitely look for sells just because uh, just reading the higher time frame. All right, we are looking like we are in a bearish market. So we want to be looking for long term sells. All right, so personally, there's only two positions I'd like to place my sells at either at the top of this range or if we have a break and another retest continuation. Okay. Other than that, I'm going to finish off with gold, you guys. All right, gold, we have been on a uptrend for quite some time. We have been breaking levels. All right, just break, retest, break, retest. And again, um, go ahead and scale down even further. All right, we had price actually close over here. Uh, essentially, when the market closed today and opened up, all right, gapped above, came back down for a retest and shot back up. All right, so it is still in this trend line. We're in this channel as well. All right, so uh, we want to be trading with the trend. So if we want to wait for a retest, all right, we want to have a low risk, high probability, uh, high reward setup. All right, so the best thing for us is wait for a better entry. Okay, that way we can uh, minimize our risk and our uh, the amount of money we'll lose. Okay, other than that, again, we want to keep this call short, sweet. If you guys have any questions at all, have uh, any concerns as to why, you know, we're marking these setups or any questions about, you know, um, scheduling one-on-ones or anything at all, just please, please uh, feel free to contact us. All right.